Welcome to Precalculus. I'm going to work through a couple of examples that will help with section 3.5. Um, these are problems where we're going to need logarithms to solve these exponentials. I'm going to start with um, an example. So this is 3.5. I'm going to start with an example that says this. How long will it take to get $100,000 by investing $10,000 at 9% interest compounded monthly? So again, how long will it take to get $100,000? So that's our A value. We want that to be $100,000. If you invest $10,000, that's your principal. So you want to get from 10 to 100 by investing at 9% compounded monthly. That says compounded monthly. Sorry about the handwriting there. Um, okay, so our equation again, I'll just put it down here so we have room. On the other side, the, the equation is A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power, where R is interest rate, N is number of compounds, T is time and years, A is the amount you want, P is the amount invested, the principal. So this looks pretty easy. We'll plug in... We'll plug in 100,000 for A, we'll plug in 10,000 for B. Lots of zeros there. I think I missed one. Okay, then we'll have 1 plus the interest rate is 0 0.09 divided by 12 because it's compounded monthly. Let's see if I have room to make this in. Raised to the 12. T power. I'm going to act like that's multiplication. So um, there you go. We'll plug everything in. T is our unknown, and that's what we want because they're asking for how long. Um, okay, first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by 10,000. So that would be really nice because the left side will now just be 10. I have a lot more space to write here. And that'll be 1. I'm going to simplify 0.09 divided by 12. Actually, it turns out to be a very nice 0 0.0075, and this is still the 12t tower, 12t power. Now we have 1.0075 to 12t power. So this really just becomes a question from 3.4. How do you solve an exponential? We have a t in the exponent. We want to rescue it. We can ask for 12t to come down, but he never comes down. So we rescue him with a log. And let's mix up the color here a little bit. Rescue him with a log, and that means we have 12t is rescued by itself. We have a log. The base of the log is the base of the exponential, which is 1.0025. And 10 was by itself over here. Now it's in the log. So how do we do this? Well, you may have a feature in your calculator to simplify the right side. If you don't, or if you don't want to use it, I'm just gonna go into... Uh, you uh, use the change the base formula, and I usually change it to common logs or natural logs. Here, I decided for some reason to do the common log. So finally, you can divide both sides by 12, which is going to basically just put this 12 in the, the denominator, and then whatever your calculator tells you here would be your answer. You know, that should be a seven, shouldn't it? My bad handwriting made my two change to a seven. This is a 7. This is a 7. So this is a 7. Had it right down here. Okay, so that's your answer. Put it in your calculator. I don't have a calculator on me right now, but you can put that in. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be in the 30-something years. That's a guess. Um, 35, 40 years, something like that. Okay, hopefully that is helpful. Let's do one more um, compounding interest problem where you solve for an exp unknown exponent value. Okay, um, this is another example. Uh, some of you may have seen this one. This one, uh, it says, I'm going to read it and then I'll write out the keynotes. It takes five years to double an investment compounded continuously of $10,000. What was the interest rate? So let's hit out the particulars again. So five years to double investment 
compounding continuously. Compounded continuously. And we want to know the interest rate. Now you may think, wait, there's not enough information. Let's review the, our compounding interest formula. Whoops, is the PERT equation, so we sometimes refer to it as. Um, so that's let's see if this is ready. That is uh, a equals p times e to the r t. Um, so in this case, we know. Um, we know t, right? Five years. E is a constant. We're looking for r, but they didn't mention anything about a or p except for this word, if you can read it, double. Double. So you might think, I don't know what, what a and p are. Well, let's just make up a number. Let's say p is 12. Nice number. Well, let's not do 12. Reminds me of compounding monthly. I want to make it totally random. Let's say P is 15. I've never used 15 for anything, so I should let you know I just totally picked this out of nowhere. If P were 15, I mean, it didn't say what it was, so could it really penalize us for picking a number? Let's see. If you use that, then A equals PRT, uh, P is 15, the interest rate is our unknown, and T is 5. So we don't know what R and A are, but you know what? We do know A. If P is 15 and you double your money, A is 30, right? So it would be 30. Okay, we're ready to solve. What's the first step in solving almost any equation? It's to do the easy stuff first. And we've seen these. Doing the easy thing here is to divide by 15, and we get 2 over here. 2, that's pretty nice. Maybe you noticed something about that, maybe not. Now let's say we're about to keep going and someone runs, it, rushes in the room and they say, wait, we're sorry, but we meant to say uh, not 15, we meant to say 150. And you could be frustrated and throw your pencil down, but I'm going to tell you you probably shouldn't be, because look what happens. If you said, no, that's 150, that would change that to 300. This would change to 300, and you're thinking, oh, what a pain this is, this looks so messy. <clears throat> Mine look pretty messy anyway. But then, what you notice, the easy thing first would be to divide by 150, you would still get 2. So the lesson really is here, really time to double. I don't really like memorizing equations like this, but this is actually a time to double equation. Where, um, where A over P is 2. So you could take this PERT equation here and rewrite it as A over P equals E to the RT. And we're saying that A over P is 2. So that's going to always be 2. Okay, so back to this problem. How do we get R by itself? Well, you can't get R down by calling for him, offering him candy or anything like that. You have to bring a log. That's the only way to rescue the 5R. So when you rescue 5R, you're going to bring him down and set him by himself, like this. And like I say, you use a log. The log is a base, this base, so it's a base E, also called a natural log. I'll, I'll put that in a second. So we have log base E of 2, in other words, natural log of 2. And if we want to get R by itself, last step divided by 5, and we're there. I don't know, I don't have my calculator here, but you could punch that in and see what you get. Um, and I really actually don't know what the answer is. I would suppose uh, the interest rate is around, I shouldn't be guessing here, but 14, 14%, something like that. So see if you get 14 or so percent. Okay, well, hope, hopefully this was helpful. Um, there's not much to this section 3.5. If you know how to solve exponential equations, uh, you're just doing that. You have the two formulas, the compounding interest with an unknown number of compounds with the n and the this continuing continue uh, compounding continuously equation uh, the theoretical equation where you don't have an n uh, but you do have this e in there and we like the e because it means we have natural logs and natural logs are pretty easy to work with so hopefully that helps see you next time